Hey guys, it's Justine and welcome to the first and only unboxing of the new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus that you will see here on YouTube. No one has done one yet. Just kidding. I'm sure at this point you guys have already seen people unbox these, but I'm pretty excited because I just got mine in. I ended up buying the one terabyte white ceramic version and this thing has looked so beautiful. Like the photos that I saw online, some of the videos that I've seen. And this is kind of weird because like this is a brand new phone, new box. It's like sort of seems like they're missing some sort of seal here. There's only one little safety seal here, but like the box is half opening on its own. Like this is brand new, like I don't know. Also in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the new Galaxy Buds. Let's open. It seems like everything's in order. What have we got up here? Something is up here. We've got some of our paperwork in here. This device includes a pre-installed screen protector. If you remove it and want to use a different screen protector, make sure it allows for the use of all touch. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. So excited to test that out. Let's get you out of this box, little guy. <gasps> wow. This looks so good. Man, I don't even want to put a case on it. Get in here. Look at this. Get into it. The white ceramic? I am slightly freaking out at how good it looks. I am really glad that this does come with a screen protector already installed and I've loved that OnePlus has been doing that for quite a while. This looks so good. Look at the three cameras. I thought that I was really into the lilac lavender color from last year of the S9, but it really got old really quickly because it didn't really fit any other color scheme that I have. Pretty much all of my color schemes, white, black, and rose gold, and the purple, even though purple is one of my favorite colors, just really didn't fit, and I got really sick of it. Also inside the box, we've got our USB charging brick, the usual USB-C converter, and our AKG headphones, another USB-C cable. Hmm, there's just something about this braided cable that I just love it. <laughs> I thought this was a worm. Super disturbing. These are the extra little sizes for your earbuds. Starting up, my gosh, I can't, I seriously can't get a really look at this. Like it just really is, it's beautiful. Like it looks really good. Okay. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the steps. All right. Let's look at the terms and conditions. Once you read and agree to yep, these, I agree. Take my body. you can restore the settings and contents from your old Wi-Fi would be quite handy here. So this is where I guess it's time to say bye to my Pixel for the time being. This is the phone that I have gone back to all of last year. Like I always have a secondary Android device. So the S9 and the Pixel 3 were basically the two phones that I alternated between the last bit of last year. So this is this is where we say goodbye for the time being, my friend, until the Pixel 4 comes out. This also has 12 gigs Let's of RAM. Let's look at the terms and conditions. Which is Once pretty incredible. It. Okay, I agree to everything. So what's different about the S10 Plus is it does have two cameras, but one of these cameras is really only used for depth sensing. So when you're taking those portrait mode style photos with the blurred backgrounds, using this depth sensing camera, it's able to kind of pull you away from the background so it's kind of using AI in a sense to sort of determine where you are, where the background is, and what should be in focus. I cannot wait to try this camera out, but right now we've got to go through the setup process. Setting up new phones is so exhilarating. Scan my fingerprint. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Let's set this up. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this? Have you seen this before? This is the new ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, so I have to press a little harder. Okay, well, how hard do you want me to push? I feel like I'm pushing pretty sick, pretty hard, actually. I mean, that's a lot harder than I was thinking I'd have to push. I mean, maybe that's just for the setup I have to push that hard. Okay, if I have to push this hard on my phone every single time I'm doing this, like, I feel like I'm gonna crack it. 
I don't even know what I'm clicking. I'm just agreeing to everything, which is probably a bad, bad idea. All right. I think one of the things that a lot of people had been mentioning in a bunch of their reviews and online is how great they did with the backgrounds and trying to hide the notch. Well, it's not a notch anymore. It's the whole punch cutout. But you know what I mean. One of the other things that I'd really been enjoying is I was following through these threads. Marquez tweeted all of these backgrounds that people were making with like binoculars and like Wally -E and all sorts of different like robots and kind of in integrating that wallpaper into the whole punch cutout. I was so amused, I was losing my mind. I'll put a link to that thread on Twitter in the description of this video because it was so amusing that I just was really enjoying myself looking at those. So here's gonna be the first time that I'm going to test out the fingerprint sensor. This again is ultrasonic, so it's using sound waves instead of light like the OnePlus phone does. I hope that you guys are ready because Okay, that wasn't bad. I think maybe just the setup was making me press really hard because I'm pressing at a normal rate at this point and it's totally fine. So I think the setup was just making you press harder so that you can get a really good fingerprint read. Let's test out the camera. Where's our camera at? I guess I'll just take a picture. The ultra, oh my God. You guys have to see this picture. You have to see this picture. I'm losing my freaking mind. The ultra wide, this picture, my arm, I look like stretch. Freaking Armstrong. There is no doubt about it. You cannot deny that this is absurd. This is, this is crazy. Wow, I love it so much. Okay, so this is normal. This is the 2X zoom. This is ultra wide. And don't mind this office setup. Honestly, I swear one of these days I'm gonna get my office life together, but for now, this is what we've got. So the live focus. Oh, wow, we, what do we have? There's different effects. Okay, that's one effect. This background's pretty boring, so you probably can't even tell. Ooh, a nice little vignette. It's really hard to tell the different backgrounds because this background is so boring and white. I am gonna be filming a video here. It's a day with the S10 Plus, so look for that very, very shortly. I'll be filming that tomorrow since the unboxing is officially complete. So I don't know if you guys can tell, can you tell? There's also two options for a selfie camera. So this one's the little wide angle with like the two people. And with the one person, it's kind of cropped in. Here's wide angle. It's definitely not as wide angle as the Pixel. Wide angle Pixel camera wasn't the best. Okay, so now let's try a live focus. Oh, let's see, okay. We'll get to find us a background. I can't, the background, <laughs> this is not a good place to be demoing this. <gasps> the beauty filter. Oh my gosh, okay. Make me beautiful, Samsung. Beauty filter is on. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a picture of myself normally. Now we're going to turn on all of the beauty effects. So I'm gonna turn skin tone all the way up. Lips, oh my goodness, I look like an anime character. Well, one of my eyes seems to look bigger than the other one in this picture anyway. Can we just take a moment to appreciate beauty filter? is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Let's do an AR emoji, which are by far the most terrifying things. Oh my God, I'm so scared. What's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look like? Oh my. I mean, I'm wearing shorts. The last time that I wore shorts was probably 10 or 11 years ago when I was on The Price is Right. Those two things not connected. For some reason it was, I was wearing shorts. I don't, I do not like wearing shorts at all. Did I ever mention that I won The Price is Right Showcase Showdown? I look like I have hair coming out of my nostrils. It's like I haven't seen the light of day. This is, I'm absolutely disgusted with myself. I, for the longest time, thought my eyes were green, but my mom told me that they were blue. I was like, are they blue? I don't know. Can I help you? I need to put some pants on. That's like an outfit that I'd wear. Uh, hello. So this is me. This is my look. This is my shirt. I think I'm looking good. What do you guys think? Do you like my hair? Do you like my eyes? Do you like my lips? Do you like my face? Do you like my teeth? This is something that you will be seeing in your nightmares tonight. I'll see you when you close your eyes, little ones. <laughs> So guys, that's the unboxing of the new S10 Plus. I'm super excited to try this out and spend a lovely day with it tomorrow, filming with it. But before we go, guys, we gotta open up these Galaxy Buds. So, 
Let's open these up. It's gonna be hard for me to like anything more than I like my AirPods because I love them. When I first got the AirPods, they didn't really fit in my ears, but for the past couple of years, my ears have sort of conformed to the AirPods. I don't know if I'm having a mutation of some sort, but I am here for it and I love it. <laughs> but I am very interested in trying these. Let's see. Look at you guys, you look like little, they look like something I would eat. They have a nice smell to them. They have a very fresh smell. Here's the little charging case. There's the little connectors there that will charge them. And to connect these, I should just be able to open them up. At least that's what I saw in the demo, but yes, here we go. Let's hit connect. Um, yeah, I would love to. Yes, please do whatever you want. Do it, what do you, take, take my firstborn. Please take it. Oh. This is a bit of a surprise. I actually really, I like the feel. Oh, this is, okay, all right. I like that this has an integrated app with it. So this is kind of cool. They've got a little equalizer here, so you can adjust if you want dynamic, you want soft, bass boost, clear, treble boost. It says that there's a new version of software for my earbuds that are ready to download, so. Honestly, super surprised. These are extremely comfortable and I'm having no problems with them staying in. What's great is I can actually use these with my iPhone as well because they are Bluetooth, so I would just have to sync them and pair them to my phone. Just like you would be able to sync or pair your AirPods to your Samsung devices or any other device that has Bluetooth connection. So far, my review of the Buds is I really, really like them. I like them a lot. I'm sad that you're empty. That brings me to the end of this video. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I am looking forward to updating weather information. Oh my gosh. Check back here very shortly for my spending a day with the S10 Plus. I'll be shooting that tomorrow and kind of just going through and testing everything out and just sort of seeing what it's like to spend the entire day with this, which is really super basic idea for a video. <laughs> so if there's anything you'd like me to test out or try with this, leave those in the comments below. And now I'm gonna go and just update this thing and get all my apps in order so that I will be ready for all of the fun tomorrow. So thanks for watching. See you later.